Holiday travel is back. You don't have to go inside the airport to see it. When we got closer into the airport, it was just packed. Marissa Cartwright and her family, one of many traveling this Independence Day weekend. Seattle to Salt Lake City, the first post-pandemic flight for this family. I was scared of the crazy people on the plane. <laughs> like, everybody's just so close together and everybody's scared of, you know, the germs and how you see on the news, like other people freaking out and yelling and... I think I was more scared of that. Her fear not unfounded. The TSA last month asking passengers to remain calm and respectful as the FAA documents a rising rate of unruly passengers. This as the overall number of travelers just keeps climbing. A little nervous, but it was fine. I think the biggest nerves were just because so many people were coming back and whether or not people were going to be masked up like they're supposed to be, whether there were going to be any issues, and there weren't any. It was pretty smooth sailing. This 4th of July, 1.7 million travelers passed through TSA checkpoints nationwide. That's a 56% increase from the same date last year, but it's still down 66% from a pre-pandemic 4th of July in 2019. Flights are full. People are elbow to elbow. They're but coming out here. There was, wasn't a single seat that was empty. They had wait lists for at least 10 people to get on the flight with us. Crowds that are only expected to grow as the country slowly but surely adapts to a post pandemic life. And as you prepare to travel this summer, SeaTac wants to remind you to bring your mask. That federal mask mandate still in place on planes and at airports. And remember that supersedes whatever local mask mandates may be in place at SeaTac International Airport. Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.